Welcome everyone to the quantum healing experience. So I'm grateful to have all of you here. Just to take a moment to make sure you have, if you have your coils or any one of the G Life frequency devices, please have them on you. If you need to take a moment now to get those, that will serve you and our whole group in this experience. So today is much less of an educational experience or informational and much more an experience of a hands-on energy healing. So what I wanna invite you to do is for now, before we get started, I'd like you to navigate over to your device, okay? And in here, what I want to ask or invite you to do is to head over to the, just to the chakra balance, you're familiar with these albums, and go ahead and work with the heart chakra, 128 hertz, okay? You can just choose, I really like the sine wave waveform. So you can go ahead and choose the 128 sine. Okay, this is going to be, we're gonna be working with the heart in this form of healing. We're gonna be leveraging the power of our collective group consciousness the power of intention, the power of coherence, and the power of frequency to facilitate healing for everybody that is here who is in need of healing. By the way, I want to ask you now, while we're at the start here, please raise your hand. You'll see that in your Zoom, you have the ability to raise your hand. Please raise your hand if you are in need of any form of healing, if something in your body, your well-being, your emotional well-being, your mental well-being, Please keep raising your hands, and I'm going to see how many people raise their hands who are in need of healing, and we'll actually use the group dynamic to send healing energy to you, okay? Eight people so far, 10, very good, 11, I'm going to keep an eye on it, 10 or 11 people, excellent. So thank you for that. I'm going to see if I can... Oh, perfect. The hands lower on their own. My name is Boris Kirchner. I want to welcome you to this experience. I think many of you maybe already know me or have had conversations with me within Chi Life. In this context, I want to just present to you the idea that we have the power to heal, that everything in our experience is energy, and energy is influenced by intention, it's influenced by frequency, it's influenced by information. In our short time here together, I don't want this to be very long, but I want it to be very potent. We're going to be combining the power of frequency, uh, energy, and intention, and the power of our group consciousness to affect matter, okay? So I want you to begin by, if you would please, turn on your chi coils, if you can, and just in the background for now, select that heart chakra frequency, and allow it to just put it on loop, if you're familiar with this, right? The loop button, the repeat button, just leave it on that so that it just keeps playing. You can set your volume. So is it about 50%? And just let those be there for now. So welcome to the quantum healing experience. Quick disclaimer, right? This is not medical advice. I don't know you personally. I don't know what you're specifically working with or what hurts. So, and I'm also not a doctor and none of what I share with you should be construed as diagnosis, treatment, cure, or any form of medical advice or intervention, okay? If you have any concern, please can communicate with your medical practitioner and ask them to, to make sure that you're okay with doing this. Okay, this is myself, Boris Kirchner. I come from a vast background of energy healing, psychotherapy, all forms of healing modalities that my life has really inspired me to search out what is the real and core foundation of healing? What is it that makes a difference for us? What is it that turns the dial and allows us to heal, to awaken, to empower ourselves? Some of my health Mentors and teachers include Dr. Zach Bush, Dr. Gabriel Cousins, Lars Gustafsson, who taught me a lot of my nutrition background. David Wolf has had some influence. I know he's a funky guy. And of course, Joe Dispenza, Dr. Roy Dittman. 
Some of you may be familiar with these, but I want to present the model of health that I believe all of these mentors would agree on. And it is that illness is the result of disharmony and stagnation of energy. There is a breakdown of communication that is happening within the body. When this breakdown happens, this is when things go awry. We experience pain, we experience indigestion, we experience cloudy thinking, we experience all forms of distortion, okay? This distortion is not happening due to viruses, bacteria, parasites, or anything like this. Viruses, bacteria, and parasites are opportunistic organisms who take advantage of an environment that is conducive to their thriving, okay? And what kind of environment is that? That is the environment where your body is basically in discord. And the systems that are in place to keep it healthy, cleansed, in balance, are in themselves out of balance and are not able to perform their function. So in our time together, we are not trying to get rid of anything. We are not fighting anything. We are not pushing anything away or resisting anything or using any bit of force. All that we are doing is we are going to raise our own energy using our devices, using both inner and outer technology. This is really important. I want you to become really clear that anything in the outer world is a mirror of what is already and always available within your consciousness. Your consciousness, the outer technology of the frequencies are going to help to enliven and activate, but we're going to meet that with our inner technology of consciousness, intention, and coherence, okay? I see some people still raising their hand. I'm wondering if how that's working. I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> if you're raising your hand or if this is just something that happens as a byproduct. Oh, I can lower hands. There we go. So illness is the result of disharmony and stagnation and health is the result of harmony and flow, okay? So this is exactly what we're going to do is we're going to restore and open communication in our bodies. We're going to use our own individual body as an instrument of consciousness. We're going to raise that vibration and we're going to send forth our intention, not only to the 10 or 11 people that raised their hand, let's make it 11, but also we'll go beyond that together. So to succeed in restoring our highest degree of health, it's important that we stop thinking about health and immunity as a war and start thinking of it in terms of coherence, regenerating balance and flow, cultivating congruent conditions for harmony and restoring harmonious communication. So we're going to leverage the principle of coherence to bring our entire being into alignment with a universal principle, that principle being love. So coherence is a state when the heart, mind, and emotions are in energetic alignment and cooperation. It is a state that builds resiliency. Personal energy is accumulated, not wasted, leaving more energy to manifest intentions and harmonious outcomes from the director of the HeartMath Institute. Here's a very quick example, okay? Just to get you in the mindset of what's actually going on. You see the very top line here. This is an experience of light. Actually, we are light. Your body is light. In the entire experience of life is made out of light. So here on the top row, you see what incoherent light looks like. So yeah, it's there, but it's essentially out of phase. Okay. So in the second one, we have one where the, all of the frequencies are the same, but they're still out of phase with each other. In the top one, there's different frequencies, ambient frequencies that are coming in. So to make this actually practical, what's happening is here you have your body and into your body comes various forms of toxicity, mental toxicity from fear, chemical toxicity from pollution, from pharmaceuticals, from food, etc. We have energetic pollution also coming in, energetic distortions, EMFs, cell phone towers, Wi-Fi, dirty electricity. All of this, the only problem with it is that it actually just distorts our energy. It distorts the coherence that would once be there, okay? All we're going to do is we're going to restore the coherence in our own bodies, and then we're going to project that coherence here within our group to serve the healing and well-being of each other. Okay, so here we go. Here's how we're going to do this. We can consciously generate body, mind, or heart-brain coherence by the way we use our attention and our breath. 
We're going to be focused on relaxation. We're going to pace our breathing and begin to breathe through our heart. And we're going to focus on positive emotional states, the states that I want you to bring to your mind, whichever one of these three resonates with you. Okay, very important. One, compassion. Can you relate to compassion? If you can, if you feel is a very key word here. So to feel it, compassion, gratitude, okay, or joy, right? Compassion, gratitude, or joy. And so to connect with that sense is very important. So we're going to be breathing and we're going to be connecting with that feeling state. And we're also going to bring our bodies into alignment. So this quantum coherence healing, something that extends beyond our personal energy field and involves coming into alignment with our collective group, everybody that's here to, today, and the universal frequency of love itself. So in this state of alignment and attunement, we will direct the highly coherent energy to empower healing. So we already have our frequency playing, frequency stimulating our heart center. And now we're just going to quickly go over these three foundations, okay? So number one is posture. So I want you to take on a posture where you feel regal, like you are sitting on, on a throne, not a throne that is ruling over anybody but a throne of servitude, a throne in which you are poised and present and completely available to serve. So remember that the posture represents our spiritual resolve, decisiveness, stability. So sit upright with your spine erect, relaxed, not stiff, and begin to breathe in and out of your abdomen. As you breathe in, your abdomen should come out a little bit. And as you breathe out, the belly should come in a little bit. Practice breathing like this. Breathing in, the belly comes out. Breathing out, the belly goes in. Find your own rhythm and pace. And just continue with this abdominal breathing as we cover the other two points here. Next is relaxation. Relaxation of the body and mind. It makes the body much more conductive and the mind much more conductive to life force energy. The opposite of relaxation is tension, which creates stagnation. So complete relaxation makes the sensation of the body almost imperceptible. That's not exactly where we want to go. We want to go into a space of relaxed alertness. So as you sit with your back up straight, as you're breathing with your belly, begin to just relax your body, relax your shoulders, relax your face. Allow this cascade of relaxation to flow down your body now. And we're going to connect with that sense, with that frequency of love. We're going to connect to it through compassion, through gratitude, through joy. So you may just bring to mind right now a sense or a time where you felt a sense of gratitude. You felt the sense of compassion. Think of that happy time in your life. Okay. And I'm going to gently put on a little bit of background music. This is not necessary, but it's something that I really enjoy is having and holding the space for us. Okay. So continue now to just sit and breathe with your belly, relaxing your body, just setting up the sharing of the sound. So if you have your device, the both of the coils working out. For a moment, for the first minute here, we're just going to breathe in our hearts. So I just want you to take the coils and take this on your chest, wherever's comfortable, and around your heart. And every inhale, the belly comes out, right to your mind, and for the next minute, all of our pictures now. Absolutely, one minute, yes. All the time, relax. One last step. Here. Could you please raise your hand if you feel any form of improvement, if you feel better in any way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of ten. Magnificent. We did incredible. Seven out of ten people feel better. Seven out of eleven. It's almost seventy percent. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for your participation. Someone wrote that my voice was difficult to hear, maybe over the music. 
I hope I hope that you still were able to hear it. And if not, I will improve that for next time. So I want to thank you for your participation in this. If you enjoyed this experience, then come back again next week. What we'd love to do is cultivate a sense of synergy, a sense of community, and let's share healing with ourselves and each other. This is what we're here for. Let's use our collective intention. Let's use our inner and outer technology to make profound, miraculous shifts in our personal lives, in our community, and in the world. Thank you. Thank you all. Take great care.